The next step will be connection of radiators to the heat source with the pipes. We can draw separately supply and return pipes. However, it's faster to draw immediately a pair supply and return pipes. We can declare the standard distance between the pipes, for example, 10 centimeters. So let's select the tool pair of pipes. And now let's draw from radiator to radiator. And as you see in this case, the distance between pipes is not 10 centimeters, but it's exactly as the distance between the connection points of the radiator. And now let's continue. And we have to correct it a little bit in this place. And to change the, uh, um, the scale, I can use the combination of two shortcuts. First, I will press Ctrl R and then Ctrl W. So as you see, with just these two shortcuts, I can select very quickly and flexibly the range of drawing that I wish to see at the specific moment. So we've got the pipes. However, as you remember, the diagram doesn't maintain the horizontal dimensions. So for horizontal pipes, we have to enter the lens manual. So now let's select all the pipes and now let's go through our drawing and for the horizontal, we can see that now a horizontal pipe has been skylighted. We have to enter these values manual. This one is a vertical pipe, so we may uh, leave this um, field without the value, without the manually entered value. The program estimated from the drawing that the height would be 2.35 and let's say that it's precisely enough. Now we've got again the horizontal pipe, so let's write 3 meters for example. This is vertical, again horizontal, so let's say 1 meter, here 2, vertical and here 1 and here 2. So we enter the lens and we also may insert some local pressure resistance that we cannot see in this diagram. For example, here we can enter a bypass around the riser. We also may need the jumps or a bend that are not seen in the diagram. And it's also not a bad idea to insert labels. So later on we can see, for example, selected diameters. So we have to go to the structure tab and select the label. And let's place it here, here, and here, for example. <laughs>